YouTube. This is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to connect an Ethernet cable and communicate with another computer, laptop, it could be a desktop, and this would work very well. You don't need a switch for this to work. So here we are connecting two computers. I have a Samsung laptop and a Lenovo. Uh, first of all, my cables are connected, as you can see. Then I'm going to start from this computer. As you can see, my Ethernet port, Ethernet 2, is disabled. So I'm going to enable it. Then I want you to take a look here. Now it shows the network are connected. So in order for me to communicate with these two networks, I'm going to do something which is going to be very simple for us. I'm going to give, I'm going to go to properties. So each network I have to go on IPv4 and give it an IP address so that we can be able to ping. Then I'm going to give this an IP address that looks like this. I'm going to give it 4. Then I'll click here. Then I accept. Okay. Then I'll come back this side and do the same on the Ethernet. In our case, this is Ethernet. With the other one was Ethernet 2. And then here we do the same. I'm going to give it an IP that looks similar to the other one, but the 6, 8, 1. I'm going to call this one. Then I'll come here and say OK after putting the sub. Then after here, I want you to open your command prompt after closing this and this. I want you to open your command prompt. And you'll see the command prompt there. So in the command prompt, this is what we do. We're going to ping to the IP address of the other side, which is 1. It is Let me put the full IP. Then this is 1. Then after I send the ping to the other side, and this works. And if I come back to this side, I'm going to go and do IP in the command prompt. In our case, the other side is 4. I'm going to go and head and put in the IP address dot 4 and we expect it to communicate back. Then after doing all that, we are now connected to the pieces. If I close this and this and go to networks, I'll be able to see a uh, Johnson PC. And if I come back to this side, I'll be able to see Amina dash PC, then Johnson PC. So what I've done here, if I click on this, I have to, if I want to communicate, like sending files, I have to put in the login name for the PC. It is Amina. Then I go ahead and put in the password, which I just set here. Then I also have to click remember credentials. Then after, I'll see drive E, which is shared on the network. This drive E. And in drive E, from this side, if I open it, I can get something from the desktop. Right now, I'm going to send... I'm going to send there a document. Let me minimize this. I'm going to send there a video. I'm going to send this video there. Actually, this folder. So I want you to take a look here. When I drop this, this side, it will copy the file. 
then you'll see the file coming in this side. So now we have successfully connected to our network and we can be able to communicate. So another bonus that I'm going to show you, I can do also remote desktop on this computer. If you go back to our networks and click on Amina, but in this case you have to first enable the remote desktop. If you go to properties, you have to first enable remote, this side and allow all, and even the other side you can do the same. Then I'm going to do a remote desktop and the other computer will shut down. So in order to do this, I'm going to go and say connect remote desktop. Then after here, if I come back this side, I'm going to click yes and this computer will go and log out. I'm going to click yes and the connection will start. And imagine I'm not on the network. So this the other computer logged out and we are having this PC here uh, and the remote desktop. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to our channel, comment, like, and also click the bell icon to, in order to get notified whenever I upload useful videos like this. And thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.